Good afternoon, this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com and welcome. Welcome to Fran. This is the StockSwish show play of the day. Beautiful, nice gap here. Actually, this has follow through in it for continuation. This is a watch till tomorrow. It is very, uh, one of these ones you see every couple of times a month where it actually kind of runs out of day. I mean, if the market hadn't closed at 4 o'clock, which it does, in fact, let's look at the last bar of the day here. Look. Look at this. This is still actually getting sold off into the close. In fact, hold on. Oh, that's not really anybody in it. But it, it, this just ran out of time. The only reason this didn't fall off the planet and break 17 and go to 16 is because it was 4 o'clock and the market closed. <laughs> and really, you know what the interesting thing is? This broke so late every time today that at one place I wanted to do an ad and I was waiting for the trigger to do the ad. I should have just taken it. I knew it was going to trigger. And I went to do it and then poof, and then it went and it broke like 20 cents into it. I was like, you've got to be kidding me. There were so many trades in this today. This is one of these ones you could have traded all day. You could have traded it here in the morning. You could have traded it down. You could have traded in the 15 minute. You could have traded it down. You could have traded in the 50 minute. You could have traded it down. You could have let it rally back. You could have traded it down. You could have traded this all day long on every setup, every single solitary setup. Okay? So the follow through in this tomorrow is actually real. I wouldn't be surprised if this gap's down tomorrow. I was just looking tonight to see if it was gapping down tonight. It didn't. But. Oh, it's a little too fine. Let me just see here. I don't know where this opens tomorrow. I, I don't know. I don't know if this is going to gap down tomorrow or not, but it definitely has room in it still. Swing trade target is definitely still in play in this, and it, this is very realistic to get down in here to 17, 16, 70, 16, 50, 16, 60. That's realistic, and I don't think it's going to take that long, and that could happen tomorrow. Next target's down in here. 16 and 1562. Uh, it worked very well today. It was a good gap. It had a big rally initially, but it set up very quickly. Let's go over this here in the one minute. And again, this is one of these ones you could have traded like a thousand times today. Uh, you, at a certain place, though, you stop doing ads because it would really cost average down your price. I don't like to do ads that kill my price, but you, you actually could do so many different ads in this today. Here, here's the entry. Here. You could have taken it here, you could have taken it here, you could have taken it here, you could have taken it here. And this is all before 10 o'clock. And again, there were places to do this after the fact, but you know, it gets harder and harder if you're getting this at such a great price to keep taking more if it, you're down into itself. But it was a wonderful gap today. It had really, I had a nice move. This is, this is actually pretty big. I mean, to be honest with you, the low here is 1877, and the high of this bar is 1946, and that's like almost a dollar. That's pretty, this is a big rally, it, but the way that the price formed itself here and the way it acted, I was okay with it, and I saw it ran up into the area it was supposed to hold. So, I mean, this is, I'm not going to say that every time I short into this kind of thing. This was okay to do, and the gap rated well, and this isn't really getting bought, but you got to be careful here. So you're taking the combination of the price action with reading the actual price itself. So when it hit the number, it was good, but, you know, it, it, this actually was, like, really on the cusp here. It, the action, though, that it did and formulated itself in was still bearish, so it was okay. And it was fine where it set and held. And then it, you know, never looked back, actually. This was the high of the day here in 1946. Total extension on the day with this was a massive bar. Yeah, two dollars and twenty cents. Look at that. So this definitely was the biggest mover of the day today. Market held this into the afternoon, but it would have continued to sell off anyways, even if the market hadn't gone and broken in the afternoon, because it was a good gap. And once it was underway and it confirmed that the selling started to take place, it was good. This is selling that came into this today, selling hard, selling into it, and also some shorts, but it was actually a lot of selling in this today, which is one of the reasons why the, the bar looks like this. The best bars in the world are massive selling bars. Shorts are always good in them, too, because you have trader shorting bars, but the best bars in the world to trade to short as a trader, as a person, is massive, massive selling by institutions, and, and, and this did get sold off hard today. It had selling action in it. 
You had to be patient and wait for the rally. Not that long, actually. But there were many places to take this today. And if you had conviction and confirmation and really had the guts to hold it to the target to get this today, it was a, this was a huge trade. Actually, from the entry here, the very first entry in this, it was a more than $2 move on the day. It's pretty spectacular, isn't it? So you could have shorted this here at 1929 with a tight stop over 40 plus the cushion. And you could have been in this trade all day with multiple ads as well, down to 1720 into the close. You could have exited this at, at uh, 358 with more uh, down at 1720. That's more than two dollars with multiple ads in this, and and that's the way you do it. And then what you do is you take the rest of the week off, and you go on a vacation. Here, here, let's see if I can even get it all on the chart here. Here I can. <laughs> Then what you do, if you play this puppy hard, is you take the rest of the week off, today's Wednesday, and you go on a long four, five day weekend. You go to a spa and you take the week off. <laughs> and you come back on Monday or Tuesday. And there you have it. So this is Melissa with the StockSwish.com. Amazing move in Fran. You just never know. You have the targets, you have the second targets, you have the third targets, you have the dream targets. Then you have targets that are just Fulfill all of your expectations and more. Um, and the market did help us in the afternoon, but I think it would have continued anyways. Nice moving, Fran. It's still lower. Could gap down tomorrow morning. You never know. This is the Stock Swiss Show Play of the Day. This is Fran. Today is March 26. Beautiful bearish move in this chart. Have a great day, everybody. And if you're interested in more information, how to rate gaps and find gaps, and not only that, play them. Get the entries. Get the stops. Get the find where to take this so you know to do this to get up in it in the 30s so you can get a two and a half dollar two dollar ten cents move in this because that's what you want to do to short this at 18 is not as good as shorting this at 1930 you know what i'm saying or actually it was around here in the lunchtime if you shorted this here around 1780 ish so you could have gotten 60 cents out of it or this whole thing if you need to watch it and that's the difference. That's the difference that rating the gap makes. That's the difference that rating the gap makes. You need to watch it in the open, the beginning part of the day. How do you know to watch this? How do you know you can even short that into a rally? Because the gap rated over 20 points. If you have a system that can pick gaps, to find gaps, to play gaps, to know that they're going to work as shorts or longs. The gap rating system, you flip them for the longs. But if you know you can watch it and get it early, way before it starts to collapse through the planet. Otherwise, this is popping up in everybody's scanners around 12, 12 30, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And that's what makes the last push down in the afternoon. But this is a much better play if you do it in the morning. And then you're up. And then you're up and you're up early. And then you can hold to the target if you want. And then you can do the ads if you want. You can piecemeal in and out. Beautiful move in Fran. Fran, Fran, Fran. And yesterday I said Fran was going to gap down. I actually called it before it gap. This is one of these ones that predicted the gap down and it worked. It did it. It was a watch and it did do it. Although I don't take the trades before they gap. But I did predict this would gap down and it did. So it's all because I'm learning how to read these charts uh, through experience over years now. Gosh, five plus years now where I'm actually predicting the gaps. I'm still playing the actual live gap in the day. I'm not doing it post to pre-market. I'm not getting in the trades there. But I've been doing this now for so long with my rating system that I'm predicting the gaps before they make the gap. It's very interesting. It's so interesting to read price in this manner. Love gaps. This is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information on how to trade gaps, email me at melissa at the stockswish.com. Next gap class is April 5th and 6th. If you want to sign up, I already have people signed up and registered already. It's not this weekend, it's the next weekend. Uh, so you be in the class then to learn before earnings season starts in mid-April. So feel free to email me at melissa at stockswish.com. Have a great night, everybody.